What is up you guys and welcome back to a video you may not have seen coming. It may have been hard to spot. I don't know how well this blended in, but uh, today we're talking about camo. Now camo for me is like a weird one because I've only got two camo pieces and I very rarely wear them. For me, camo has never really been that thing where I'm like, shit, that's really nice. I want to wear this. I've always been more into the whole kind of distressed look, distressed vibe. I didn't really go towards the military vibe. Don't get me wrong. I love cargoes. I love mill tech and everything. But camo for me has always kind of been taking a step extra where you kind of borderline military and it's not really about clothes anymore in my opinion. But today we're going to have a look at four outfits, which I think are really cool. I'm going to be showing how I would wear camo, how I wear camo. And that's it really. So lean back, put on your goggles, your spectacles, because this video might be some something that might be hard to spot, but uh, I'll do my best to um, sail through the forest. I don't know. I should have prepared like a long list of like camo puns, but I couldn't find a list. So, gotcha. If we start off on a subject about like real camo or like realistic camo, we've got stuff like tiger camo, forest camo, woodland camo, snow camo. I don't know. These are like the realistic camos, actual camo print to use in the field or in the military or wherever you are. That's the kind of camos I prefer. They've got a purpose. They're there for a reason. They were made for a reason and they're not just like made up colors. And I also think they're the ones that are a bit more downtoned and they scream a bit less. So fit that I really like is this one from Jamie B. Jamie B. Now Jamie is wearing a Yeezy season jumper, a pair of Noah track bottoms and a pair of Converse one stars. I think the whole thing goes really well. I think the hoodie goes really well with the trousers and the shoes. And it's kind of like an understated camo, but I just really like it. I will say that I would prefer the trousers to be a bit more white maybe or lighter instead of like a yellowy color. But I think this is a beautiful, beautiful fit. And after that, we've got this picture by Unspecified. Now he's wearing a palace jacket in collaboration with Arc Air. I don't know about the trousers and then a pair of Nike SP Dunks. Again, same thing. I think it goes super well with the kind of dark camo on top and the lighter bottoms, either white or beige or like a stone color. That's like my favorite combination. I'm not a massive fan of going for like camo bottoms and a white top, and I'll go into that a bit later. But I think when it's a camo on top and white bottoms, it looks really, really good. So yeah. Super cool, and I think it looks really good with the little palace orange arc logo. You know, that little floating, floating palace logo. <laughs> Hala Fuego. It seems like last year, or maybe like two years ago, the whole rough coat camo hype took over, and everyone's wearing like orange camo, pink camo, yellow camo, purple camo, green camo. Rough coat made every single color camo, and it was fucking stupid. Like, Everyone was wearing them and the whole thing was crazy. And I really didn't really like any of the kind of the different colored camos. I just feel like it's very, very, it's over the top. It's got no purpose. You've got these really, really bad color clashes, which I didn't really like. But these two outfits are pretty good in my opinion. They are kind of the unrealistic camo, but I still think they work really well. Now, first one is from Young Espra. Now, Espra is wearing a double Carhartt set. So it's got the worker's jacket, Carhartt shorts. Now, if Carhartt made these shorts in a trouser, I would have think they'd be super fire. But overall, I think it works really well. I do like the top matching the bottom, although jackets and just shorts are not really my vibe. So yeah. Super simple, good color combi. And next we've got La Flame. That's his name. I didn't just make that up. La Flame, just wearing a gray jumper, a pair of the Rothko purple trousers, and some Air Force Ones. This is kind of what I mean about the unrealistic camo. Like, when would you ever need a purple camo? So it's kind of contradicting the whole camo thing, but I think it works really well here with the gray and the white. Obviously, the camo trousers are the centerpiece which is completely fair. So overall, I think it's a really good fit, to be honest, and one of the nicer fits I've seen with that camo. Now, when it comes to this really, really bright, bubbly camo, I think that is very important. Just keep it super minimal. You don't want any other big colors, and please, please do not mix your camos. Don't double camo or anything like that. It's gonna look horrible. Babe kind of killed it, Rothko killed it, everyone's killed it, so don't do it. But we'll be going into how I kind of decide to style camo or how I wear my camo. So stick around and I'll be with you in a second.
Bruh. I just dented a glass. So, if we are looking at the camo I kind of wear, or which I tend to wear, if I can find it, did I bring it? Where did I leave the camo? Ah, uh, psych. Good camo, good camo joke. So, I. <sighs> when I go for camo, I tend to go for more of like a realistic camo. As I said before, I don't really see the point in wearing that kind of like yellow or red or purple or pink camo. For me, it just kind of seems. Lame might be the wrong word, but it just seems like defeating the purpose of camo in a way. Now I'm well aware that you're not gonna wear these trousers and fucking disappear in a city. But I like to think that you wear something with a purpose, and if you wear the pink ones, then cut it. Just cut it. It's a no-go. But when it comes to me and wearing camo, I do think you should keep it to just one piece. I despise when people go for like double camo or two different types of camo, or like tops and bottoms matching camo. So for me, you kind of just have to pick one piece and it's either the jacket or the trousers in my opinion. I think camo t-shirts look super weird. So for me, it's always trousers or the top. I tend to wear this kind of trouser with a more of like a fluorescent upper, or a bit more colorful. I like to keep the camo really, really toned down and just have the top kind of do, I don't know. Top is like the main thing about the outfit. With these ones, I like to wear them with my orange Hi-Fi FNK top. I think it goes really well. It's nice and it's just kind of a good contrast. I used to not really like camo and orange together, but to be honest, we feel like a very fluorescent orange. I think it's really cool. So my opinion, super good match. Alternatively, I'd wear this with my Jordans which turn out not to be fake and just like a simple black top to match the black on the camo trousers. In my opinion, it's just super easy and looks fairly clean, as clean as you can with, with camo in my opinion. Moving on to this piece. Now this piece is a Rothko jacket, but it's been washed a lot. So it kind of has a worn in look, really, really vintage feel. These are super easy to find in charity stores or vintage stores or anywhere like army surplus military. Super, super good. I do want to be a bit bigger than this right now because I do like the idea of like a fishtail uh, camo jacket, but for now, this will do. I think it's really good. Same thing as with the trousers, wear it with other black or maybe some fluorescent stuff. I'm not a big fan of white and camo. I feel like the contrast is very big, having like a really, really white block and it's just a camo. So I like to go more colorful or black, essentially. And that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is the video about camo. I guess some of you didn't really see this one coming, uh, but sometimes it's hard to see just for the trees in the forest and maybe it's hard to spot. I don't know. I feel like this video kind of blended in with some of my other videos, but hopefully it's kind of distinctive enough that you still kind of recognized it, but I don't know. I don't know. Enough horrible, horrible camo puns. Now, I've posted more detailed pics of these items on my snubs. So quick little shameless shout out promotion. Go follow my snubs, download the app and join the running club. And that's it. Go follow me on Instagram. Do whatever the fuck you wanna do. Go buy some camo. Just don't buy those pink camo trousers because they are fucking horrible. And that is it ladies and gentlemen. Have a lovely day or night or whatever. And peace.